Hi. My name is... Hey guys, today I'm going to go over something really important, which is increasing the overall size and yield of many of your plants. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it because I have a lot to talk about, so come on. Okay, so my method that many people are going to find shocking and be like, oh my gosh, what did you do? But I cut off the tips of the tomatillo. Well, actually, I cut off pretty much half of the tomatillo. And the reason I did this is because each plant, or each of the tomatillo plants, had about 25 different flower buds coming up. And what I like to do is, once that happens, since it's its first set of buds, you either want to A, take off almost all the buds, or B, just take off that part of the plant entirely. Now, what this does... And I know it sounds bad because you want fruit, but at the same time, you want it to be a really, really healthy plant. So, um, by taking off the flower buds and all that other big green growth, just leaving some of it on it, like um, you can see on this tomatillo, there are some uh, leaves coming out the side. But anyways, taking all that, um, that stuff away will uh, therefore transfer all the energy it's putting into the flowers and such and put it just into producing a new leaf set. And that'll just cause an explosion of new growth and later lead to much bigger fruit and more uh, buds later. And then uh, you can also use this method for just when the flowers appear, like let's say you have strawberries and they're always kind of small. Uh, what you want to do there is if you pick off most of the flowers when they're forming, it'll transfer all that energy that it's using to create new flowers into a set few flowers which will give you seriously like straw uh, yeah strawberries the size of peaches um, I've done this once or twice before and it just turned out amazing and you know I know that this method really works just so far for inside is because look how this uh, black cherry tomato is doing it's becoming more and more like a bush just sending out tons and tons of new growth. I know that most people call them suckers, however I really don't care. They don't do anything except for add more energy to the plant. So anyways, um, that is my wacky method of getting much larger growth. And as you can see on this here, what you're going to call a twig, there are many, many new uh, shoots coming out that will have tons of new um, plants. So, and then, like I said, what this does, it is it just adds to the center of gravity of the plant. And it just makes it explode with new growth. Um, now, this doesn't always work. However, most of the time, with many plants, it does. And, before you throw those, um, those tops away, I'm going to show you what else you can do. Okay, so I figured while I'm at it, I'm also going to go over how to clone like um, tomatillos, black cherry tomatoes, any type of tomato really. But anyways, um, when you cut off the top, you want to take off a lot of the bigger leaves and make it to where it's only the growing points that are showing. Um, suppose I could eh, pull one out. Anyways, some things you want to do. Take off all lower parts of the leaves. As you can see, there's no lower growth growing, and that will prevent anything from, I guess, rotting in the water. Because, as you can see, it's sitting in water. But anyways, you want to take off lower growth. And then on the upper growth, you want to take off any flowers that are showing. And any of the, I guess, just massive leaves. You just want to kind of have the growth points. Um, even this may be a few too many leaves, but that's fine. Well, for me, I'm just experimenting. Um, and you want to do that with just how many plants you have. And then, usually after... A few days to about a week, you should see a new root system growing, and then you just plant it directly in the water. Now, what I did for, um, you may notice that the water is kind of green. That's not because of the plants that I've cut. Um, that's actually because of the fact that uh, I add some of that seaweed extract that I have. I put it in a little, um, eh, grab. I put it in a spray bottle, and then I just sprayed some of the water in there, and that's really just some sort of, uh, nutrient source while it's in there so it doesn't just 
do bad. I, I don't know. On the bottle it said it could be used as a rooting hormone, so I figured why not add it to the water and see what happens. And I have exp um, results to show you that it actually works. See, um, remember when I actually took all those cuttings from my black cherry tomatoes? Well, as you can see, there are new roots coming off some of the stems. Um, not all of them, because I just put it in there like two days ago. Maybe three. But anyways, on each of the stems, there's actually new roots coming out. So within a few days, I could actually plant these and just have even more um, tomato plants. Uh, that's what a lot of uh, nursery owners do, or just some other plant people, if they want to increase their plant yield or, in, you know, increase the plant numbers. Like, I'm sure I'll be, like, either selling or giving these out or trading with people. And what's, you know, it's awesome to have really just new plants and get to experience the uh, thrill of meeting new people and trading plants with them. That's how I got a lot of my, uh, I guess, carnivorous plants and stuff like that is because people wanted to help me out to get started and trade. So that's what I'll be doing, too, uh, this upcoming spring. Okay, so taking cuttings of plant well, cuttings of certain plants will not always work. Sometimes they're gonna die, or sometimes the plant just can't be propagated through cutting or, um, I guess, trimming it up to make it better. But some of the ones that actually can, maybe more exotic, would be um, here are one of my mini carnivorous plants. Um, as you can see, it's growing pretty well. But I actually got these just from a few cuttings from a friend. And what you want to do with this kind would just be, there are certain methods, but um, for this kind, you just want to kind of cut off where the T section is, because if you look, it's more of a uh, fork-leafed uh, sundew. Anyway, if you cut it off at the fork and you just let it sit in water, plants will actually shoot up out of it. So that's one method that also works with many other plants, as you can see. Um, some call it the floating method or just the water method, because it's just sitting in water until either new roots show or new plantlet shows. So that is one other thing you could do. And the other one is just when you take the cutting, you could just set it in uh, dirt. Now to actually um, help with the process of getting the rootings, there are several ways you could do it. You could always, number one, put it straight to the dirt. Um, that works for several things, but not always. Number two is what I already said, which is set it in water until you see roots, but make sure it has some sort of like nutrient in it, that's why I use the uh, seaweed extract. Or you can just set it in straight water. I know that doesn't always work, but you always have to take your chances. Um, number three is if you dip it in honey, that is said to be some sort of nutrients, and then you could put it in the soil. Um, number four, you can always go and buy the nutrient hormone stuff. And then there's one that um, not many people know about besides the honey, because I don't know many people that know about that. But anyways, um, Another thing many people don't know about is you can make some sort of, I want to say elixir, because that just sounds awesome. But anyways, um, you make some sort of compound using, like, willow bark. I'm not, um, you just kind of, I guess, pound it up until it gets the juices, and you soak that in water. And then after a while, you can dip any um, cuttings into that type of water and then put it in the soil. And that's also supposed to be really good. Um, I don't have a willow tree yet, but when I get one, I'll definitely have to be trying that out and showing you how, how it goes. In fact, here in a few weeks, I'll probably um, show, I guess, the different methods of how to root things and also which one works best. And I don't know. It seems like a really fun experiment to do. So um, I guess that's pretty much it for this episode. Please tune in next time when I show you... Um, well, I guess next update for the tomatillos will be when they actually produce the roots or you'll when you see the explosion of new growth. So, until next time, signing off.